Yo, yo, yo. Will I have to put my shoes? Hmm? Will I have to put my shoes on my flip flops? Whoa, whoa. What kind of question is that? Where you could put your shoes? Do, hold on, hold on. Do you know where to put your shoes? Mm -hmm. Okay, so why are you ask, asking me where you could put your shoes? You know where your shoes go? Um, on the shoe stand. Right. Well, now I put on the floor. Get up, boy. Style in them, All right, watch what's going on now. Just a quick update. Quick update on the car amps. Or car amp rack. I don't have rebuild the case. You know. But man, when I don't rebuild the case, it's going to look just like this. The reason why I don't have rebuild the case was because when Brandon and the gym want a piece of board for build film case and I hit me use and build this case and support the things out of my case put in a film case and the piece of plywood is almost an inch thick it damn sitting heavy yo me have to put wheel on this I have to put wheel on this case brother it can be movable still it's not, it's not that heavy but I never really want it so heavy it could have it could have been less lighter. So me did say um I had planned on getting some of the ply board yeah, that thickness. And I mean I don't even think this is a 5.8, it's not a 5.8. I think it's a 3.8. But whatever, and I'm below my arm case because whenever the arm case get done, I'm gonna put it in the car. I'm not even gonna move it for no reason, unless, unless it's in the way of a spare tire, like when they did in a Subaru. I have to kind of pick it up a bit, put, take out the spare tire. But how often do you get a flat tire? So I'm saying, nah, rebuild the arm case. So see that? This is the update on the arm case. See me? It don't look a, a whole lot um, different from it did before. See generally. It don't look a whole lot different because that's how it, that's basically how it looked before. Me change the board them because them board the over there so I just use those two um check the measurement and thing because if you notice them are come off a one they have a whole heap of holes in it whole heap of hole or something i'm really want is either i'm gonna wrap this the pieces where or the place where the where the pre-shade sit down either i'm gonna wrap it with a velvet or i'm gonna wrap it with that that green i'm not sure yet all right the update i went ahead today and made the determination for all of the speaker where them you can look down this up those are the remote wires to turn on the amplifier them also we finish up the switch panel and put on a piece of board yeah it was necessary because from a standing point you could have really look right under this up and see all of the wire them hanging down especially after me finish wiring the switch panel we have two um voltage display down this up um the capacitor for wire out back and I'm also gonna put I'm also gonna put this not gonna be in this uh, it's probably gonna be underneath underneath that piece of board and then an outlet is gonna be over there um I'm gonna try to put one at least this nano verb unite we'll see how that goes um one more 
processing unit I go go this one, one digital that one's gonna do the topping and then this one's gonna do the base I need have an IKEA first I do everything very nice Stetson crossover believe me it, it, it is nice you know what I mean the Rockville um capacitor this so I might change it I might change it to a uh, um I don't, I don't remember the name right now I can't remember but I might change that it's gonna be the same look the same size I think it's a boss you know what I mean I might change it to a boss but anyways all the terminations on the inside of this console is done speaker wire then they just push two row and so on the new trick and just let go into the rack the bring them off and underneath the amplifier them and, ma and um, terminate all of them on the amps them um, I mark the I mark these the switch um, the return wire them what I did was my each ring cable upon them I mark I put an each ring upon this red Yellow e shrink, green e shrink, blue e shrink, and then the one in the middle of the e shrink on it. So, when we pick them up inside of the rack, we know which is which. I have to draw from the tester today and do all of that. Um, termination take times. Termination, man. So, I'm gonna say, when you know I do the part, yeah. When you know I do the part, yeah. Take a little bit of time. Um, if you take a more time down, the uh, plan just dig in, you know what I mean, and know say, all right, then you're gonna approach it one of the evenings or one of the nights, you know what I mean, when you get that time because at the end of the day, it's gonna come out decent, it's gonna come out better. Don't rush it. And the reason why I said that is because me have the tendency to rush things at times, especially when we find it I got good. And yeah, that's the time yeah, when you yeah, you know I say you fucked yeah, it up. Yeah. But that's the time where you where you, where you cut corners and and um lose lose your lose three balls. Yeah. Oh, you lose a lot. As it pertains to your finished product, because you lose, you lose out in the looks and you lose out in the performance. You know what I mean? Because trust me, oh, man. when the machine look good enough, it play, it play, it play better, you know. It, it's not. I mean, I say, yo, it I feel pretty if it play good. No, that's not what I'm trying to say. But when you can differentiate your mid range wire from your base wire and your tweeter wire and all of that and you take time to color code scene and all of that brother it easier to deal with you know what I mean so the playing let's say you go on a little I event and you have a portion of wire box wire leading towards your box them none of them no color coded none of way you have to Light from the amplifier oh, go straight down to the to the box. This is what me I say. Um, that's what it if you are on eight pin and four pin, Whoa. yeah, you are go on one eight pin and one box, one four pin in oh. the base. Mm -hmm. Seen, oh. but chances are you are on two eight pin because you are on one left channel and one right channel. Chances are, no, still. You don't have to put the left channel over the left box and the right channel, it then can go vice versa. You know what I mean? Because I just seen a speaker, they might go play. But yeah. if you know exactly what you have, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. it's easier. Oh, yeah. It just make your life much easier oh. as a sound man in the business. So when you start seeing from square one, all you, done, tell me. you are done? Uh -huh. Alright. I don't really know. 
No, you know I done cleaning up. I'm not even start yet. Men must go clean up. Anyways, let me finish up a few days for us. Don't, 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 do not stand on there. Get your foot down. <sighs> when do I start, is it? Get one piece of paper. <coughs> and one pen. Watch out now. It works for everything. You know, say if you have to build one box. And you get one piece of paper and one pen. And sketch out how you want the box to look. The only thing that you don't have on that paper is the measurement which would I call in a um td where you call that the scale you know what i mean because oh no no technical drawing and um architectural work you know what i mean they use a scale they use like let's say a centimeter to represent a foot you understand what I say? Just a scale. So, <coughs> excuse me. So basically, you take the real life measurement and you put it on the paper on a smaller scale. Smaller version. Simple. Um, or you can set one centimeter equals ten foot. Twelve foot. Easy. Whatever we want to decide. So here we do now. It work for everything. So you get one piece of pen, one piece of paper, one pen, and you sketch out the box. And you say, this is how you want the box to look. The first piece where you cut, seeing, if you cut the side, because everybody, me believe everybody can build one box, which we are going to build two on the, on the channel. Um... You sketch it out. And if you cut the first piece of board and call that the side or the back or the front or the top or the lower. If you call it the side, you know say. The other piece, cut the other side much into that and call that you have two sides. Now put your measurement in between the two sides. And why are you feeling there? Because I'm good. Because I know what I'm standing on. But you don't know what you're standing on. You're standing on my capacitor. I'm standing on wood. Standing on wood? Yes, on wood. This is made out of wood. You know that? It is made out of wood. Anyways. You're standing on wood. Anyways. You're made of wood. <laughs> you put... You measure it between the two pieces, the two sides them, and that's how you get your face board. You see, because sometimes a man measuring face board out to out or into in or whatever, and when you grow another back, I'm going to measure the back piece again. It, it, the measure wrong at no, because the, the front are into in, the, the back can be out to out, you know. And you know what I mean? Your door is also wood. Hmm? Your door is also wood. But it easier when you not have things penciled out. That's all I'm trying to say. It goes the same way with your cases, your Amprak. Pencil out things. You know what I mean? Because with the Ashley drive rack, I was able to just go so boom and plug out all of my eight output them from my um, DBX. And plug them in the Ashley and just plug out my two inputs and plug them in the Ashley because my plan I never planned to put an Ashley in it, you know, but I planned ahead a time and make the cable them with enough length where they can move from at least one two inch. To uh, almost 12 inch so me give them almost a foot worth of length and play in there see me one idea is me go show now how me do that and how me go by having so much length in my amp rack and still having the amp rack look real clean 
So I may say, so pencil out one of the pencil out, take on a time and do the termination, especially when it comes down to these new amplifiers. The Behringer them, we are come with the new trick them. We not have no screw on connection and all of that. Take on a time. Search them one by one. And just mark them. Is it? Yeah. That to do. And do the right thing. Because if you do the wrong thing. The Behringer I know them. If you do the wrong thing upon them, you have burned them. And if you burn them, you can't fix them. I don't know nobody. No ask me. I don't know nobody ask me. I don't know nobody we can't fix them yet. I don't have to go buy back your board. Now what do I find on the two dials? Nice. This one can help you. Yeah, I don't have to go buy back the board and all of that. Yeah, that's that. So, take the time. Do the thing right, do the right thing. You know what I mean? I'm going to post a little video here. It's just a, a quick update. I mean, I definitely not build a rock and definitely say, you're not going to do a video, daddy. I'm sorry, I'm going to do a video. Um, and one of the reasons, too, why I did this video is because a lot of people have followed this Ampra because a lot of cars on there in Jamaica. Um, I don't know how to get to see. And I don't know how to explain everything as I'm going about it, as I'm, like, processing and putting in the pieces but whenever I whenever we get close to ending this arm case then me I go explain everything all at once is that me I say so see it again see it again switch switch board really nice up so I go clean up every room when I every room where I work Really look nice. You know what I mean? Processing unit up at top this off. I'm not gonna have two processing units on it. You know what I mean? So that is it. But also I'm gonna put one next. Another um display voltage display somewhere over here. After I'm gonna put in the next processor, I'm gonna put another voltage display somewhere over here because those two over there. Uh, the reason for the third one is the third one has um has a temperature display on it. So me I put that one over this so. Is it because me have to put in the plexiglass and then some fan. Um the plexiglass is gonna come on top. That's what I'm going to do with the plexiglass comp on top. And I think I'm going to go over this little piece. And just come right across this with the plexiglass. Fan this off, fan this off, fan this off, fan this off. See? So when the, when the fan... If the plexiglass was sitting on, on, on the board. I already go down this on sit down this off. Um, I'd be worried about the heat getting trapped inside of the rack case. You understand? Because plexiglass, long as I put the fan in there, the fan just a blow the warm air. You know what I mean? The warm air just get trapped in there. It now come out. If I did that though, I was planning to go with one fan round this so to extract. You yeah, understand? But I think my now go do that. I just put the plexiglass just like how I did have it before upon the top. Because these amplifier, the heat sink, the right this so. Right along these lines, each thing there. And this is the transistor in there. So the whole top of the hump, um, a white metal, and it help fit, fit, fit hold the heat. And if you can, just put a fan on the top of the hump, blow. You know what I mean? That white metal, it cool the transistor then. You understand? It work easier. So, with the plexiglass on the top now of the rack, the ear comes out underneath the little spot there between this board and the plexiglass that's how it, it work the way i had it before and it'll work nice enough for brandon car right now 
I said, may I say, may I ask him, he said, yo, the fan system, he said, man, I feel the era come for another local part, then no, it's spread on me, I said, yeah, man, that good. See, so, I think that's what I'm going to do. And this is where we're at right now. All of the remote wire then come down in other shielded um, thing there. All of them come down in that. The live on the ground for the for the um the switch plate. Those are them right there. I think I might just go ahead and put them in that um loom. If not, eh, might run them separate. But I think putting them putting them in there is gonna be neater and cleaner. So I guess that might be what I do that's probably gonna be what I do or what will happen but it's a quick update this on the amp case because Devlin sent me for you today you know what I mean and please gentlemen remember termination take time because when I started this process of just terminating the speaker wire them on the amps um color coding alright watch out I color code 10 switch wire, return wire. I may terminate 4, 8, 16 wire on the two amps. Them. I may also run the live, the ground, and the memory for that. I may not bring up the big power wire then feed cap yet. But me connect that processor to the power distro and me connect everybody else remote wire to the power distro and then power. So everything we're in at the rack get powered and get everything hook up powered wise and speaker wise. So me I say, me never think it will go take me that much time. It take me over three hours. So me I say, so, take on the time. Take on the time, brother. <coughs> Sometime, when you come in off a road and you say, alright, I'm going to put all the things together. No matter where you do, if I even want rock, if I even want arms, you slide in a rock. Alright with that. If you're tired, you're tired. Alright with that for your night. See? Because there's going to be another day. There's going to be another day. And you're going to come back to your rock. And you're going to slide in one next arms. You know what I mean? And you go hook up one next equalizer. And you go set up your next processing unit. And you go do this and you go do that. And at the end of the day, it's all going to get done. Good thing about it is, as I said earlier, when it gets done, it get done properly. You see me? So nobody with the rush work. You know what I mean? I don't know fight on myself. You see me? I say, me have to say this, you know. Because not for me general, them, you know, when they show up, they must say, boy. Right, no man, I hurt me, no brother. Or oh, you make this thing sound easy, no brother, you know, easy. <laughs> the man said, We make things sound easy, and you know, easy. You know what I mean? I feel tell you, say, I try to mean him easy, man. You know what I mean? So you just look away. But, you know what I mean? To especially current part, brother. If we don't know electrical installation, I don't know a bill one plug board. I don't know. Hey, I don't know what for nobody, you know. I don't know how to you know, get a call from somebody. I know who I'm going to get a call from, you know. When you watch that video, I know who I'm going to get a call from. Me, hey, brother. I don't know how to call you, know, my G. My Jen. Just school, man. Just school, no, man. All right. Um, take the time, man. And get the thing proper. Especially electrical insulation. That me that say, if you don't know, know it, don't fight it. Because once you make a mistake, let's say now, you go some boom, and you buy two K2, and you buy two AdMark, and you buy one Posa, and you save up your damn money how long if you do all of these things and get all the equipment them. And you link your bridge in and you must say, yeah man, it's easy man. Just go so go so. And at the time when I tell you, you get it, you know, you process it. But you make a drive now, <clears throat> you make a drive now from work to home or from your bridging or from the barber shop 
wherever to home and by the time you get there you get a phone call from one of your G and the whole the whole um 10 second 15 second memo the way him give you gone now so you reach home and you say blood clot I wonder how Uncle Donovan did say you see me and two years in yourself no come me know me know me know we as man sometimes I know it's not it's not the ego you know what I mean but you call a man four, five, six times, you say, I'm not going to man again. I know you man tell me, you know, man. And you go so boom. And screw one wire incorrectly. Especially if you are carrying a 220 volt in your Amprak. And you screw one wire incorrectly for one eye. Um, outlet terminal them. That wire incorrectly. Oh, God. You lose one amps. You lose equalizer. You lose. Don't lose no processor. Don't lose no no no, no DSP. Don't you don't lose none of them, the man. You know what I mean? Don't lose no drive rack. You understand? Cause we know how much they cost. Don't lose. Don't lose your console. Don't lose your 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 um your player. Cause yo, bro. It better you make it better you 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 call somebody if you do it. If you're not one hundred percent certain, this is what I'm trying to say. Make sure that you're one hundred percent certain. One hundred and ninety-nine. I'll when you're certain sometime, call him on again. You know what I'm saying? Call him again. Me have to call him again in you know? a business from our backs, you know. Me have to call him again, you know. That me I tell him, you know. You understand? So Make sure you say, you know, precise. See me? Come ask Amanda a question today. When sown, I burn. What well, always burn first? Apart from the speaker. Amplifier. Amplifier always burn first. If because you are gone. Let me get to the bottom of my the lower, how I'm trying to say. It will go on. Speaker always burn first, but we don't really go so far. But let's say, all right, speaker burn first. And when the speaker burn, what happened is the coil, the speaker coil is now infused. So the amplifier does not recognize the load as a 4 ohms or a 8 ohms or a 16 ohms no more. Is it what I say? The ohms is lower than a 1 ohms. Is it what I say? And if a three speaker or a four speaker burn, oh God, brother. Basically, it's like you clash the two speaker wire them. The negative and the positive together. Now your transistor go burn. Your amp burn. You understand? How often do you find that an equalizer or a crossover or a preamplifier or a expander or something like that burn, Panerak? Not very. Not very often. You, you're not going to damage your processing unit so easy what can damage processing unit though me, me getting at that in the next video is wrong inputs and outputs make sure so your input them are going in and your out them are go to your amp or wherever to your next processing unit cause wrong input if you put the input in our out you might end up lose something in that um, processing unit. <clears throat> See? So, not very, not a whole lot. You find, say, a man burn up in processing unit. You see me? When, however, though, when a sound lose in processing unit, you feel bad for him. Because not only are you going to lose a processor, whether it be a drive rack, an expander, a Richter scale, a mid-verb, a adapter. If you have an adapter plug-in, let's say your adapter on your Alesis mid-verb. Not only are you going to lose that adapter, lose that, you might not lose the mid-verb, just the adapter burn. But not only 
are you gonna lose that one processor you're gonna lose like five or six processing unit we're plugged into that one bad outlet the one bad outlet that might be the one where you plug in your your um your surge your rock mount um what you call it there the Furman PL plus that might be where you plug in your rock rider you see me that might be where you plug in your Furman now you plug in the Furman not that and that fuse in that firm and don't blow. Bro. Huh? A whole heap of unit that just burn. And if you guys don't have a firm and PA plus in the rack, here what me I go do. Here what me I go do for you now. Because a lot of we can afford it, but a lot of we can't. I'm going to purchase... I'm going to purchase a fuse and I'm going to put together a protection system for an amp case for those who don't have a firm and peer plus in their amp rack. I'm going to mount that to the amp rack and show you what happened after anything get plugged into that um, protection device away it I go bad or the wire them a clash or a burn or whatever in that unit when that unit start burning the fuse you know this little device that we're gonna build blow and it should work like that in other firm and PL plus them but I've seen it where it it did it, it didn't. Now I mean, I seen it where it didn't. You understand what I say? So take on the time, my G, and do the right thing. You hear that? I'm gonna eat with this. We are gonna clean up the ranch and look something to eat. And now I mean, I go on do my thing. Guidance and I'm traveling here.